Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel of work in progress. I'm Joanne and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul with a twist. As you can see behind me, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Raleigh. Perfect day to go yard sailing, which is what I'm going to do. And I thought you might want to come along. So I'm going to take you along on my yard sailing adventure and then make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I show you if and what I purchased at the sale. Let's get going. Okay, everyone, we are back from yard sailing. It was fantastic. Um, first, a couple of things up front. How do you like my shirt? My girlfriend Kate made this up for me, so I get to wear this now on all of my videos, and I'm really excited, and I thank you so much, Kate, for doing this for me. I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna get it in some more colors. <laughs> uh, another thing on this video, and any of my previous videos, I've actually started selling some things from my videos to you folks. So if there's anything in this video that you see that you might be interested in purchasing from me or in some past videos, go ahead and email me at my email uh, in the description box below and we'll see if we can work out something that would be you know, a good price for you. Another thing, don't forget to watch to the end of the video and then leave a comment in the comment section down below and let everyone know what your favorite find was from this haul. So I'll tell you up front, this is another $20 haul. I got so lucky. I have so many things to show you. Stop babbling, get started. Uh, this I picked up, I'm not actually at this point sure what I'm gonna do with it. I believe it's just the top to perhaps a dresser piece, but I thought I could use this for some purpose in the booth when that opens up. Another piece that I got for the booth, uh, where did it, here it is. This one I already know what I'm going to do. And this is from a dresser top. I'm not sure if the two pieces go together, they may, but it is this piece right here. So my thought on this, I'm gonna hang this on the wall in my booth and then I'm gonna have just a, a little sign made up with the booth number, and I'm gonna call the booth a work in progress. Not all of them have names, but that's what I'm going to call mine, of course, what else? <laughs> so, pick that up. Uh, I'm gonna to get to the larger pieces behind me right here, and then we'll start going through the bins. I was really excited. These I saw on the picture on Craigslist of the yard sale, and I was surprised that they were still there because I went on the second day and they were even packing up when I got there, but the woman was so sweet. Uh, it was just, please, what about this? Maybe you could use this for that, because she, I told her that I was opening an antique space, and uh, she said she used to do the same thing, so she was giving me all kind of ideas on things, so please, take this. It's gonna go to the trash. Please take it, maybe you can use it. So I was really lucky. But uh, two of these, the old Noel plastic, they're in a little bit of rough shape. You can see on the bottom, there are some chunks out of, actually both of them, there are two of them, and they work. Um, the woman had them on her front porch, she said. They're indoor, outdoor, oh, come on now. And let me see, it's, 
I cannot for the life of me make out. They're older, uh, made in the USA. Where is the name? There is a name on them. Oh, there it is. You're not going to be able to see it. The name is Pol Polaron Products. P-O-L-O-R-O-N Products, USA. So, picked up two of those. Those will go in my Christmas corner in the booth. Let me put Next this piece is kind of heavy. And it is oh, this right here. What it actually is, is a towel warmer for your bathroom. But, and I kind of thought that's what it was. But... My plans are just to use it as a simple quilt rack in the booth. It's really heavy. So I don't know, maybe someone will, will want to purchase it for a quilt rack. Someone may want to purchase it for its actual use. Now into the bins. A lot of rusty old stuff in here. You have this, like a, a colander. You know, you would put this inside of a pot. I think she said that they use this for canning, perhaps. So I got this. Everything is dirty. Nothing has been cleaned. I got that piece. Oops. This piece, in all honesty, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I think I could repurpose this somehow within the booth to use just to hang things on. But I did pick that up at kind of a just-in-case. A uh, silly thing, but I needed them for my plants out on the back porch. I just got some decorative rock. I'll just use it as drainage in my planters. Uh, let's see, we've got two bags of those. I picked up a whole bunch of old enamel lids. Uh, if nothing, I mean, they're in bad shape, but they are the old ones because they have the hanging holes. You can see right here, really rough shape. I don't know if anyone would want to decorate their kitchen with this sort of thing, but if nothing else, I think the color and the look of them may just help kind of draw people into the booth, which would be fabulous. Those two, uh, we have quite a few of them. We have three. And a larger fourth one here. I love the white and the red enamel wear. Red is, I like red. Then this one is really grungy. I know what no one is going to want this, but again, I just think the look of it might help draw someone into the booth because it is in, I mean, it's in really, really rough shape. But you know what? Then again, somebody may want that as a planter. I mean, that would make a wonderful planter out on someone's deck. So there you have it. I uh, picked up some Christmas plates. These are all the same plate. They are from Pier 1 Iron Stone. There are three of them. Got those for the Christmas corner. This I picked up. I believe I'm going to keep this for myself as a planter out of my deck. Oh, look at this. It's beat up. It's perfect for me. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's a pretty good, it's a fairly lar large size pot. So this will be good. Actually, you know what? I have nothing on my front porch in the way of flowers or anything like that. So I may just put this on the front porch. I think that's what I'm going to do with that one. Uh, I picked up this frame. And really the only reason that I got it was because I think I could use it like maybe if I have a sale in my booth or um, maybe I'll change it out even with the seasons with different pictures, you know, like a Merry Christmas or, uh, you know, Welcome Spring, that sort of thing. I can put different kind of pictures in here just to welcome people into the booth. And the last thing in this bin, I have two of these same plates, cut glass, really pretty scalloped edges on them. Really, really pretty plate. There's the back. Two of those, really like them in perfect condition. Yep, no chips, no nicks or anything. 
Okay, I am going to swap bins. Okay, I'll be right next back. bin. Nothing special, it's just a bunt pan with some Christmas greenery on it, which I will take off. And it looks like they may have even just sprayed it red to make it look more Christmassy. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. Sell it as it is. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, I got this afghan. This is really, really nice. It is in perfect condition. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing because it is pretty large. But it's just this nice cream colored afghan with the fringe on the bottom. Has a couple of now I see some kind of little stains on it. Yeah, a couple little stains on it. Hopefully those will come right out into the wash, but otherwise perfect condition. As I do plan on selling quilts and afghans in the booth. They had quilts the day prior, but I missed out on them because I, I just couldn't get there that day. Picked up two boxes of, now they're not shiny brights, but they are American made glass products. They're from Kobe. Got two boxes of these. The bulbs are all intact. We have some blues. And then we have a box of reds. There you go. And while you're at it, if you are enjoying the video, please let me know and leave me a big old thumbs up and I would greatly appreciate that too. This little guy, I don't know if he has any age to him. I'm saying he's a soap dish for Christmas time. Oh wait, and actually he does have an age on him. He is embossed in the back, very hard to see. Japan, I don't know, there you go, you can make that out. And looks like you can put them on the wall. So I guess he's a wall hanging and not a soap dish like I thought. But you can use them for what you want. These guys, I'm keeping. I can't believe I found all of these and no one took them the day before. Santa box. These are going to go into my collection. I've got a collection going of them. I love him. His little face is so adorable. And he is from, made in Taiwan, I can see that. Brinks, I believe that may say. Let's see here. I think that focused for you. So he's going in my collection. Found a little bell, look at him. Isn't he adorable? Little Santa bell, his little face is a little messed up, but I don't care. And let me see, oh, he's marked. Japan inside there and it has the little are they clackers they call those in the bell so there he is another one look at that guy he's so cute we're so happy to find these and he is marked Japan on the bottom and I think one more look at him a winking Santa I don't think I have a winking Santa how adorable all crazed in his goodness and his paint is lost and i love him and he looks like he is from japan and at one point in some thrift store was he 59 cents love him love so i have one two three four more to go in my little santa collection for christmas this year found another afghan this is really pretty. It's not as big as the last one. More like, maybe for a baby. I would say either for a baby or just for your lap. But again, this one is in perfect condition. Yep, this is in perfect condition. I'll wash and freshen that one up. Um, just got a couple of, this is just one, two napkins. You can see some staining on that one, but I do like the design on it. Really, really pretty. This I picked up because of the color. I'm not sure. Oh, it does have some age. This was, I guess, hand glazed by someone. I picked up that, like I said, because of the color. I love the color on this. It's not heavy. It's ceramic. And this was done by Betty Ayers in 1992. Right there. 
um, rusty old tin. Some people love rusty old tins. Picked that up. What does that say? Mixed beans. Someone put a label on that. I don't know if I'll take that off or just leave it as it is. I'll let the buyer decide what they want to do with it. Don't see any markings on the bottom, but you can see it's really rusted out. Uh, we're getting there. Picked up this spice rack. That's an oldie. Now we are missing one spice jar, but I bet you that would be fairly easy to find and replace. I believe this is for tea. It's a, yeah, this will go in a teapot because that, that is fairly large. So I just picked that up. An old chopper with a red handle on. Worn. I liked this for the graphics. This I may keep because I, down in Florida, I had a setup with all old, I was kind of collecting old bath room sort of related items. So I picked this up and that will eventually go on that. It is Solray Colloidal Sulfur Mineral Baths made in Philadelphia, PA. Really cool. Let me see, I don't, no date. Nope, no date, but I thought it was cool. And it will fit with what I'm doing. Pretty little plate here. Is that, for those of you in the know, is that transferware? But pretty little yellow oval plate. I'm not sure what's going on with the piece of tape. There's a piece of tape on the back of it. Oh yeah, I'm not sure why that's there. There's no crack or anything in it. So, and the edges are all nice and clean and clear. That this is not intact in really bad shape, but I picked it up anyway. Someone may love it as is. It is part of a scale. <laughs> Obviously rusted as rusted can be. Quite heavy. But I did get him. This is from Hansen. It's a utility scale. Capacity 60 pounds. I may try and clean that up a little bit just so the graphics, they can... Folks can see the graphics a little better on that. Old amber colored Clorox bottle. Love this. This I think was one of the first things that I snatched up. I like, I like amber glass. I really like the color of it. Picked up two little enamel trays. And they do have some wear on them. You could see some little places where the paint has been chipped off and then so I have one more. Do they match? No, they don't match. They have the same feel though, this larger one. This is actually, has legs on it. So would you, you would use it, I guess, you know, on your couch, watching TV and having your snack or your dinner. It was, I like the graphics on it, it's really pretty, the flowers. And two more things to show you. This as well, the woman said was used for canning. Uh, she said that on her back porch, I think she said, she has one very similar to this. And she has a bunch of blue mason jars in it, just sitting out for decor. thought that was a great idea. So now I'm on the hunt for mason jars. <laughs> so we got that. And then the very last thing I have to show you is this humongous basket, which matches a basket that my friend Kate gave to me. So I will use this. I have to... You know make it a little bit neater here no big deal a little hot glue will put that down but I will use that in the booth for some sort of display um, just to put things in um, oh maybe those vintage needle craft kits that didn't sell in my live sale that would be a perfect place for them that is it everyone my fave okay I don't even have to think actually my favorite are the Santas I am thrilled that I picked up four of them for my collection. I love them. Those are my favorites. So again, in the description box down below, please let everyone know what your favorite find was from this week's haul. And until next time, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your, your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. I try to read each and every one of them. Um, that's it. Until next time, take good care of yourselves. Bye for now.